So let's say that this here is an ad, okay? Uh, this is your video ad, okay? This is the beginning of your video ad. This is the end of your video ad. We're going to call this your timeline, okay? So this is the, the anatomy of an ad, what your ad should look like, okay? Um, from a bird's eye view. So this section here, this blue section, from the beginning to right around here, this is your main content. So this will be you or your spokesperson basically delivering the ad through voice, right, through narration, through video, delivering the ad here, okay? So this is the main part of the ad, me reading the script that I just wrote using the perfect ROI ads formula. You should start off with a close, so what, what I always say is, you know, people really respond to people's, people's faces. Um, you know, we always, I've read countless times about, and there's some type of word for this, but like, you know, the reason why people always see faces like, um, you know, Mary, the mother of Jesus, like in like toast or like, you know, in, in you know, the, the pattern of a wood. It's like we're, we're you know, we, we, we're always looking for patterns and we're always looking for people's faces, right? So we've split test this and, and it does work. Um, you want to start off with a close up, maybe about right here, of someone, of your spokesperson, um, of their face, right? A close up of your spokesperson, but, or you want to show something, again, that's visually interesting. Um, we, it's also called a pattern interrupt. So something like they're scrolling through or they're watching something on YouTube and like, whoa, what's that, right? Like, that's weird. Like, let me watch more of this, right? Something that's going to spark that curiosity. Um, so again, start with the close up here or show something visually interesting to kind of spark that curiosity, you know, some sort of pattern interrupt here at the very beginning, okay? Um, and then here's the thing too, I, I, I read an article recently, um, and who knows if it was true or not, but they said back in the 70s, the average attention span, back in the 70s, the average attention span of your average person was 27 minutes. 27 minutes. Holy cow, I can't, I can't imagine that. Now, the average attention span is five to seven seconds for your average person. Why? Because we're addicted to you know, our phones and we're scrolling, scrolling, scrolling all the time and you know, all these little dings, notifications and alerts. It's like it's pulling our attention at you know, a thousand different ways, right? A goldfish has the attention span of I, th I think seven to nine seconds. So your average person has a lower attention span than your average goldfish. It's crazy, it blows my mind. So with that being said, we wanna cut away to different types, uh, different clips, video clips, also referred to as B-roll, right, every five to seconds. So we'll start off with a close up, you know, he's gonna deliver that hook, and then we're gonna cut to, you know, different shots, different stock footage, um, every five to seven seconds, you know, to be able to keep people's attention. And what you wanna do is you wanna cut to video clips or images or whatever, something that's relevant to what is being said. So like every sentence you're making a reference to, you know, living, living your dream life, taking that, finally being able to take that vacation, you know, you deserve to Disneyland. And then you're showing a picture of a family that looks like your customer avatar, right? You know, if, if you're marketing to Tommy Traffic and he's 34, you know, maybe you show a man, you know, who's 34 years old at Disneyland or at some type of amusement park with his family, like you're cutting the things that are relevant to what your talking points are, right? And it doesn't always have to be B-roll, like you can, you can cut to like from wide shots to a close up, from a close up to a medium shot to a wide shot, you know, you can animate text onto the screen, you know, but something visually has to be happening every five to seven seconds. Now, right here, if you look on the timeline, Okay, so think about this, you know, when we're looking at our perfect ROI ads formula at the end, you know, there's a call to action. So you're delivering your script, you're delivering your script. This is, this, both of these are call to actions, but this is a call to action um, with a get ready to click countdown timer. Okay, so you're delivering, delivering your main content and then your final call to action, you know, like look, you know, click here to get this report. Okay, right when you say that, Okay, you're gonna animate a get ready to click countdown timer. Okay, this is what we use on YouTube. It's been very successful. It works really well. This may not be applicable for Facebook because they have different, um, different rules and regulations for the content that you know, can be displayed on their ad network. Um, so this, this may not apply for Facebook or any other you know, network that has video ads, Instagram, et cetera. Uh, but it works well for YouTube for now. This could change. 
But at the end, on that last call to action, what we're going to do is we're going to first we're going to animate a lower third with the call to action. So in this, um, we say get instant access to Jim Ricker's exclusive video. And when you're doing YouTube ads too, you got to really tone down your claims. You can't make big, ridiculous claims because they'll they'll shut down your ad. Um, if you do it too much, they'll shut down your ad account, right? But uh, you know, we 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 talk about that a lot in our you know we talk about what it is that are going to get in the ad, so they know when we reference this, we they know what the exclusive video is. But we have a call to action here in the lower third, and again, we want to we want to tell them what it is they're going to get. Click here to get this. Be specific. Um, be specific with what they're going to get, and again, you want to promise a specific benefit. Now we didn't really do that here. I guess the benefits watching the video, but you know, you know, get this specific. You know, and, and you know get this free report or get this specific benefit. We like to add pulsing arrows, showing them where to click. Now, here's the thing, we're in fin financial marketing. Um, most of our avatar, most of our sales are old white guys um, in their 50s plus, right? So, you know, a lot of those guys are becoming more tech technologically literate, um, you know, because society is moving us in that direction. Um, but a lot of those guys too are like, oh, click where, where am I supposed to click? Right here, click right here. You know, we want to show them. Hey, look, look. Don't click there. No, don't click. No, click right here. We want them to see exactly where it is they're going to click, right? Um, and then we also, you know, the ad's coming to an end. So we're also saying, hey guys, get ready to click. This ad's going to be gone soon. You know, if you want this offer, you know, you we, you know, you want to be able to click. And again, the copy, copy is so important. You know, a lot of people say, you know, I can't sell something at this price. No, you're right. You, you. You cannot sell at that price because your copy sucks. Your messaging sucks. You know, your messaging has to spark that desire, has to create that desire, right? If your messaging is good, your ads are going to be good. Your, clicks, your, your cost per clicks are going to be low. Your cost per leads are going to be low. Your cost per acquisition is going to be low, right? It all, all comes down to how good your ad copy is. Anyway, so we're going to tell them, hey, get ready to click because this ad's almost over, right? If you want this thing, get ready to click. So we show them that. We have the pulsing arrows, click here. This is what it looks like. This is what it will look like. You know, you're going to animate this on the screen right before, right before you send them to your end tag, which buys you 10 to 15 more seconds. So, um, another thing that we'll do is we'll have like a lower third call to action here. So usually I restate the low, uh, call to action twice. So I put together this free, you know, I put together a free report called the Carnivore Diet, called the T-Rex Diet. You know, click below to get, you know, access. And here I'm going to show you. So I've already said that. Click below to get access to my free report. In my free report, I will show you X, Y, Z. All right. Then before I end, you know, so if you're ready to, you know, finally drop the weight and be the best version of you, you know, click now, click below now to get my free report. All right. I'll see you on the other side. So I've I've had my call to action twice. The first call to action here. Okay, um, the first call to action here is basically it does not have the countdown timer, you know. So I have my call to action here, then a small gap, and then I'll have it again. And again, I'm animating on the screen because that motion kind of when you have motion on on the screen, it kind of draws the attention from your eyes, and you're like, oh, oh yeah, click here. Okay, so it just it gets your attention there. Now here's one thing too, I'll, I may, and this is optional, but I may place the first lower third so that the end of the C, uh, I may place the first lower third so that the end of the CTA ends before the first 30 seconds of the ad so you're not charged unless you click. So think about this, so on YouTube, on some campaigns, most of the campaigns that you'll be running, you don't get charged unless they either click or they watch more than 30 seconds. Okay, so what you want to do, so let's say that this is the lower third, you know, it's animating on the screen, and then it animates off the screen. This is where it starts animating in, this is where it starts animating off. I want the end of my lower third to be before the 30 seconds. And the reason why is because, you know, a lot of times when people are watching the ad, you know, they'll pick up on some of the context clues of what the ad's about and what you're promising. And so if you kind of animate that lower third um, at the beginning of that, you might get a click. And you might get you know higher click through rate, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, you can do this. And here's the thing with marketing, like I could be telling you this, and depending on your avatar, depending on your niche, none of this may work. It works for us and it works extremely well. You gotta test. The perfect ROI ads formula is gonna work no, no matter what. But this type of stuff, you know, you gotta test this and, and see what works for you. Start with this and see see how well it goes, and then you know, introduce other variables to try to beat what you're seeing here.
Okay? So these are you know, some lower third column actions. This is kind of where you place it in your ad on the timeline. The next thing you want is an in tag with a graphic representation of what they get and the final countdown timer. Okay? We want to tell them what they're going to get and we want to show them what they're going to get. Okay? It's, it's all about them. Not about you, it's all about them. What do they get? What do they get? Articulate that. So, this is the video here. We're going to show them an end screen here. Um, again, we have a countdown timer here. Usually it's 10 to 15 seconds, basically giving them extra opportunities. Do, they, do you want this or not? You've got six to five to four, you know, it's counting backwards. You've got this amount of seconds left to take action on this. Do you want it? If so, you're going to have to click on it, right? We, we restate here what it is they're going to get, okay? Um, and then we have some type of visual representation of what they will get. So it could be an ebook, it could be a free presentation, or you know, um, if you don't have any of that, just put an image of your spokesperson here. That's fine as well. I prefer to show them exactly what they're going to get. So if you're marketing the T-Rex diet and you're marketing that free report, you know, I would show a really nice, you know, graphic representation of a of an ebook or a free report or something right here. Um, to show them to articulate what it is they're going to get. Now, they're not going to get the actual physical book, obviously. They're going to get a digital download, but you, know, you want to articulate what it is they're going to get because they want, they want to see something that's, that's a tan that looks like a tangible product they're going to get. Right? If you don't get that, then show, show your guru or your spokesperson or something like that. But again, it's always better to have a graphic representation of what they get. So again, this is the anatomy of a winning ad. So again, this, you, know, you start off here with a close-up of your spokesperson or something visually interesting that will be a pattern interrupt. Um, if you want to put a lower third here, saying, hey, click here to get this specific benefit or this offer or uh, this lead magnet or irresistible offer, you know, click here, here, before that 30 seconds. Um, then you deliver content. You're cutting every five to seven seconds. is something that's visually interesting that also um, uh, is in the theme or context of what is being said. Um, and you do that all the way till you make your call to action, your first call to action. And all you're doing here is you're just animating the lower third. And you can also put the, the pulsing arrows there, there. That's fine too. You have the first lower third of pulsing arrows pointing down. Then that animates away. You speak a little bit more. Very, very short gap between this one and this one. And then you have your final call to action. Um, your final lower third call to action with a get ready to count down uh, timer, and then you send them to an end tag with another call to action, which is technically your final call to action, your final final call to action, with the visual representation of what it is that you're going to get, and then another count down timer for 15, 10 to 15 seconds um, that just gives them more time to click. You know, so that's the anatomy of a winning ad on YouTube. That's how you would do it. So here's some additional tips. Your spokesperson should look like your avatar, okay? Men like to buy from men, women like to buy from women. You know, we have another company um, that basically creates websites for people in the mental health space. They're mental health professionals. And a lot of these are people of color. They're, they're, they're women age, our, our customer avatar's name is Natasha. Um, but they're women, they're usually people of color. And they're women from you know 30 to 50, most of them in most cases, 30 to 40, and they're starting their private practice for the first time. And so we try to show, we try when we hire spokespeople, we try to get people who look like Natasha. And so we try to get um, you know a person of color, a female around that group, and it does really really well. Um, here's something that's interesting too. Okay, so a lot of times. Remember, I'm always trying to find, figure out ways to make things more efficient, speed things up. The fastest way to do things here in our organization is if we have an ad, we're trying to deploy an ad right away, it's just to get me, you know, pull down the green screen and then me read from a teleprompter and me just do the ad and we can shoot and edit it that day, right? Now if I have to hire a spokesperson, you know, if I use something like Fiverr to get a spokesperson, it's going to take two to seven days, if not longer, to, to have them shoot it and give it to me. If I work with a local actor, which we do a lot, um, you know, that may take me, you know, um, he might say, I can't come today, but I can do it, uh, you know, how about Thursday? And it might be Tuesday. And it's like three days, like, okay, sure, fine, whatever. You know, still faster than me waiting for someone on Fiverr. The fastest way to do stuff is we have a script. I walk out of my office, I record the video, and I, I read it with passion and enthusiasm, and we edit it that day. And we're not waiting a week for creative, we got it that day. I'd love to do that. 
here's the problem, okay? And this is, this is the thing. You know, our avatar, Bob, is an old white guy in his 50s, okay? Now, we, we brought in an old white guy in his 50s to do the ad, and he read the outfit was exactly the same, the graphics were exactly the same, the copy was exactly the same, um, and the only thing that was different was I was reading it and he was reading it, right? And, you know, I don't have the most masculine voice. That could be an issue. I don't know. I'm not the most masculine individual. Um, this is just like a normal, average, old white guy um, doing, the, doing these ads. Um, you know, I'm not nothing special. But I think I did a pretty good job. Like, we were still getting target CPL. Like, we're still getting our target cost per leads. We're still getting, you know, hitting our targets. But this guy was able to crush it. Just crush it. Why? Because he looked like our avatar, right? He looked like her avatar. This makes sense. So, you know, I'd love to be able to do it. No one here in our organization is over 50. Jason will be there soon, probably sooner than anyone else. Um, so maybe he'll be able to do these videos and we'll be able to crank those out pretty quickly. But, uh, you know, we have to use the spokespeople if we want, you know, if we want to crush it, we have to use the spokespeople. So again, your spokesperson should look like your avatar, okay? <laughs> if you're promoting a health product, you definitely don't want me uh, trying to teach people how to, how to lose weight and get six pack abs, right? Um, the next thing is you want to show people who look like your customer avatar receiving the benefits of your product. So imagine Tommy Technology, okay? You know, Tommy Technology, you know, finally, you know, you, you know in your copy you're saying, look, you know, you can move out, of the, move out of the city and you can finally buy your dream home. Well, you want to show someone who looks like Tommy Technology, 34 years old, male, you know, with his, with his you know, pregnant wife, this is how I think, right, with his pregnant wife and, they're, you know, and this is the B-roll that you would show. I mean, it's not going to be Tommy Technology, it's going to be, it's not, it doesn't have to be you, it can be someone who looks like you. And, you know, it's Tommy Technology, 34 years old, and he's with a realtor and he's with his wife and he's, oh, looking at this beautiful home. You know, cut through that B-roll clip as, you know, you're, you're, you're referencing that in your copy, right? Finally take that dream vacation with, uh, with your family, you know? So if you're, if you're marketing to, um, you know, old, old white man Bob, you know, you might, it might be him, you know, and old white people, they love, they love going on cruises to Alaska. Like, that's what our researchers show, they love going to Alaska, you know, and we put that in our avatar. Old white man Bob loves going to cruises in Alaska, right? And so what we'll do is we'll show him and Miss, Mrs. Bob, um, you know, and their little grandkids, and they're on a cruise ship in Alaska, right? So we show that, okay? Um, and so, you know, and, and we may not be that specific in our copy, you know, finally take your, you know, but, you know, finally take your family um, to Alaska, but we'll say, you know, finally take them on the dream vacation you've always wanted, but then we show that in the images. So we will show people who look like your customer avatar, right, um, receiving the benefits of your product. We want to show people facing the same challenges that your avatar is facing, right? So, so, um, you know, if, if, you're, if, you, if you're advertising a health product and one of the things that you're talking about, one of the pain points is that, you know, um, you know uh, you're not able to keep up with your friends on the basketball court, right? Well, then you may show, you know, a picture of your overweight person sitting on the bench and he's sweating and he's, you know, sitting there and he's drinking his water and everyone else is playing without him. He's like, like hey, come on in. He's like, no, 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 you go on oh, my back. You know, he's making up some type of, well, he probably does have back pain, but he's making up some type of reason not to go play. You show that show something that, that kind of represents that, okay? Um, and then we want to show people, you know, that's one of the reasons why, and this is basically the same thing as this, this bullet is the same thing as this bullet, but that's why, like, in our customer avatar, we have, like, you know, what are their hobbies? What are their interests? See, it's coming back now, right? What are their hobbies? What are their interests? Why do we, you know, articulate that in our customer avatar? Because we want to show people doing that, right? So, you know, when we're saying things like, hey, you finally get the freedom to live your life on your own terms. Well, if I know that Tommy Technology loves going, going hiking with his girlfriend, with his dogs, then, I'm, then when I'm saying that, like that's a piece of B-roll I would choose. When I'm saying, finally, get the freedom to live life on your own terms and do things that you want to do, I'm going to show a picture of, him, of, a, of a, a man in his 30s with, a, with a, an attractive young woman and their two dogs hiking up a mountain, summoning the mountain, and, you know, spreading on their arms like this and loving their life, right? I'm going to show that, right? So that's, again, why we do the customer avatar. It's not just for helping you write the copy, but it's also to help the video production people create the, create the ad for you um, so that it resonates with, uh, with people. A lot of times, too, um, we, we have an in-house editor, um, but we also work with a lot of contractors, and it could be from anywhere, you know, in India and the Philippines, and, 
you know, we'll have them write, uh, do these financial marketing ads for us, and they're going to show, like, in their B-roll, they'll show, like, young kids, like, on a computer, or, you know, they'll show, like, a young kid doing this and money. Like, look, old man Bob's not going to, he's not going to relate to that, you know? And so I'm like, look, look at the avatar, and it's got to be something, you know, you want to show people that look like old man Bob. So you don't show a young couple out to eat, you show an old white couple out to eat, right? So just some, some things to think about.